Hey, everybody, welcome back to this installment of our, our CMDB uh, ITOM chat. Uh, this week, we have some special guests with us. So we brought in the team um, and, our, and our security and our, that handles all, all from our security vertical that handles all the, the security, uh, uh, GRC, vulnerability management, SIRM, all of those things that they do kind of under that channel. And, and they have a fantastic series of broad podcast out there that Barry Stewart does for their team. So somewhere around here on this website, there's a link to those and you could probably go find those and watch them. And I want to highly recommend it. But um, the team went and Shannon and, and Robert came in today and kind of heard about what we were doing. And we told them how we've been talking about the importance of CMDB and everybody's seen that picture of how CMDB attaches to everything in service now. And now we're kind of moving into talking about the importance of a mature CMDB. And so I have some definite opinions on, on the value you get, particularly in, um, in, in vulnerability response um, when you have a mature CMDB. So with that, because I'm excited to hear about it. And this is is maybe not my strongest expertise space. So I, I reserve the right to ask stupid questions. And I get to turn it over to, to the team there. Uh, I think Shannon's gonna, Shannon's gonna take over and kind of talk about what you get out of vulnerability response when you have a mature, strong CMDB behind it. So everybody ready? Ready to go. I'll, I'll actually kick things off, Scott. Um, so, so just kind of introducing myself quickly. Uh, my name is Robert Dion. I am a senior business process consultant here at Covestec. Uh, I specialize in uh, GRC and SecOps implementations and advising clients uh, on their uh, GRC, BCM, vulnerability response and security incident response programs. Um, and as Scott mentioned, uh, a mature CMDB is is hugely critical from a process perspective uh, when it comes to uh, effectively managing vulnerabilities. Um, when you have that accurate CMDB, uh, you're able to uh, efficiently align uh, the vulnerabilities that that are detected amongst your infrastructure and amongst your environments, and be able to efficiently apply them to a specific item. So that they can be remediated, um, so that they can be remediated uh, in a, in a very quick and efficient manner, uh, and kind of integrate with uh, the other areas of the application, such as change management, um, incident management, the GRC application. It, it kind of expands, it kind of spider webs from there, um, and kind of touches all of the various areas, uh, and it provides organizations. Uh, with with a really strong up to date uh, visibility into the security posture uh, of of their environment. So uh, from a process perspective, that that's really the value that it provides you. So so you can see things like you know what what products or services uh, that an organization manages, uh, wh which ones have high you know critical vulnerability. Um, critical vulnerabilities within them. So, so with that level, with the mature CMDB, as you kind of expand that vulnerability process outside of uh, your cybersecurity team, it makes it very easy to communicate um, and, and provide uh, a level of, of visibility when it comes to uh, people more on the business side, being able to see the potential uh, vulnerabilities that lie within their products. Uh, and what I'll do now is I'll shift it over to Shandon, um, who's going to talk more of, of kind of the underlying infrastructure and how a mature CMDB really drives some of the efficiency within vulnerability response. Thank you, Robert. Hello, everyone. My name is Chandan Bayani, and I'm part of uh, security operations and IRM practice within Covistic as a service and solution architect. I have total... 13 and a half years of experience with eight plus years in uh, implementing the service now solutions within security operations and IRM area. Uh, with that, uh, I would like to talk, as Robert mentioned, that how it is in, how the mature CMDB is important from a process perspective. Uh, now, when we implement 
or when we deal with the vulnerability response solution or a vulnerability management. For a security team, it is important that to know that what they are securing. It's the infrastructure. The scanner scans the vulnerability across the infrastructure, whatever it can detect, and it, it collates that information within its scanning tool. However, the information that is present there, it's quite raw in nature. What needs to be done with those vulnerability? How it needs to be patched? What, how it should be responded into? There is a huge dependency on the patching exercise where the security team needs to have a clear communication path with the IT remediation team. And the security team needs to know that which IT remediation team is responsible for removing the vulnerabilities or applying the patches to the servers and the database servers, et cetera. So how it is done within ServiceNow, there, there are a lot of capabilities that is available, which helps to integrate with the market leading tools, scanning and bring all this information about the vulnerabilities and their assets into ServiceNow. Now, I would like to share uh, some of the numbers from the survey uh, result that is available on the ServiceNow website as well, that most of the large scale and medium scale organizations collects the data from 10 different sources about their asset inventory. And often security team finds it's very difficult to coordinate and to manage the asset that is relevant for from the security perspective. Also, there is no clear path of communication channel between the IT and a security team. There is no roles and responsibility very well defined. So ServiceNow Vulnerability Response Solution provides that channel of communication and also the effective CMDB within that helps to automate a lot of the things which an analyst would be doing it at 10 different places. So I'll cite an example there that, let us see uh, a scanner on a day, average daily basis scans the infrastructure, or I would say agent B scanning is happening on a callus. And that scanning is detecting almost a 10K, for a 10K devices, it is detecting approximately an 100K vulnerabilities. Now on those 10K devices, it is important to know that what these devices are, who is supporting this, what kind of devices it is, so that when this information becomes handy at one, sec one particular place, such as ServiceNow CMDB, from the detection point till the time a vulnerability is detected and it is identified on an assets, there are backend processes which kicks in, leverages this information and automatically assigns those vulnerabilities to the respective remediation group. Also, as Robert mentioned, will help us to identify what is the impact of these vulnerabilities on those assets. The third point is the sheer amount of vulnerabilities is very high. Now it becomes very difficult to prioritize these vulnerabilities. Oh, the effective CMDB helps us to prioritize these vulnerabilities as well. Now, what kind of asset is it? Is it an internet facing device? Is, is this asset belong to the CXO level? Does the asset contain the information of financial or a sensitive information which must be protected over the other assets? So all those information is present in the CMDB and it is important that the CMDB is in a good shape before we start or when integrated with the scanner and leverage a vulnerability response in an effective manner. Also, now when we talk about the, the higher maturity level within the VM, uh, we need to automate the process of patching as well. ServiceNow comes up with, with the recent releases, it has come up with a solution of uh, scheduling the patches automatically. The moment it is detected, we know which device it is on. Uh, if it's in a Windows server and we have a SCCM in place, so from the point it is detected, it gets locked into ServiceNow, a patching request is automatically scheduled if a solution is also available for that vulnerability. So that kind of end-to-end -end, uh, effect can be seen, provided that the CMDB has the information what is required for security. Team. Now, how that can be done? There are a number of ways in which a CMDB can be matured. Uh, if we talk about from a vulnerability response standpoint, a scanner itself to act as one of the discovery source. Because as there are certain policies, there are certain uh, assets which may not be detected by the discovery, a standard discovery tool or a service not discovery because of the restrictions that may, may or may not have been applied for any organization. But a security scanner would definitely have the privileges to go to the 
the areas where normal discovery won't go. Hence, the 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 inventory that a scanner would have, it would be definitely more than what the other discoveries are doing. It doesn't mean that it has all the right information, but it can definitely cover the uh, area which may which a standard discovery may not do. Hence, bringing the, that information from scanner into the service now CMDB is also important, which helps to enrich the the existing CMDB and leverage the IRE, the service now IRE engine to normalize the data that comes from different sources and, and have an effect, a mature way for our vulnerability response. Yeah, so I, I really like that. And, I, and you brought up a couple of things that I know in my experience, we get called out so many times to maybe be involved in a, in a CMDB remediation project because somebody's you know wants to integrate their Qualys or whatever their tools are, or their multiple tools, but they're not comfortable with their their CMDB data underneath, or they really haven't reviewed it, or had those key things that you brought up about like the owners or those type of things. So, th I mean, I feel like that's why it's so important for customers to really look at that journey and plan that process out. You know, if we want, if if we want, you know, a, a VRM sort of vulnerability management system to be in place, you know, six months from now that when that vulnerability comes out, I can know who the owner of those devices is. I can know what business officering or business services could be affected by this. I can see the relationship between those things. You know, we need to have a long-term plan of, you know, whether we're implementing discovery, SCCM, or all these things through our through our our, our process where we're getting them in, we're, we're identifying the type, our, our principal CIs, what do we really care about? all those things and you know it's hard to turn that on overnight it's it's important to have that institutional plan to get from point a where i'm maybe not really comfortable or maybe a little bit you know i don't have my team doesn't have that confidence in their cmdb to where we can get that you know we could start turning on and pulling things in from qualis and see where it is um yeah. So, and, and I, you know, what we've talked about in the previous weeks, um, so many of those tools out there to help do it, you know, I can, I can put those health rules on my audit rules on, I can have my, you know, be, be creating tasks for somebody to fill in the owner of this CI. This database doesn't have a relationship. It needs to be out there somewhere. I can be putting those tasks on my team to do it, you know, long before a, a vulnerability ever comes in for that item. So I, I, I'm excited and I know you guys have a ton of other great content out there um, on the portal that on, our, on our, our blog page that I wanna direct people to or reach out if you wanna talk about this some more. Um, thanks for stopping in today, filling in. And I know we're gonna keep talking about kind of the maturity of the, the CMDB. I, I, uh, we we're, we're talking. We've just talked about ITSM and incident, and we're going to keep talking about the roadmap. So, thanks again for for joining us today. Thanks everybody out there for coming in and watching us, and keep tuning in. We'll we'll see you later on the the same ITOM time, same ITOM channel. <laughs>